Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement you deem worthy or resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Taurus, we are jumping right in. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Whoa. Three major arcanas off the bat. This is huge. Your first card out this week, Taurus, is Major Arcana of the World card. Fixed sign energy could be important to you. That is your energy, Leo, Aquarius, and um, Scorpio. You also have your Major Arcana of the Tower card. More Scorpio energy. We have Major Arcana of the Devil card. Capricorn energy could also be a timing reference with that. Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, which is I do think is coming. You're coming in as the Queen of Pentacles here. Could also be dealing with another earth sign, maybe specifically a Capricorn and the Three of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn whose birthday is coming up. Obviously, we're in Capricorn season. Because with the th this Three of Cups here, I don't know if you're a Capricorn cross watcher or what, but heavy Capricorn energy or season, because this is also like a seasonal energy with the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, another major arcana. The, ju the What is it? Judgment. There we go heavy heavy hitter and it's literally speaking about right now because we have the world card here in your past position this is very much giving last year that world card is very much speaking of stepping into the new year leaving behind any sort of um lack energy lacking love lacking money um any sort of uh, victim mentality any sort of um, lack, you know, anything anything that's not making you feel good, not bringing you up, whether it's a thought, person, place, or thing, you're leaving it behind, quite frankly. Some of you could literally be leaving poverty behind, having not enough, because I see you coming in here as the Queen of Pentacles, which is someone that is very, very uh, stable. Big priority for this Queen of Pentacles individual to be stable financially, uh, you know, home-wise, nice house, clean house, that type of thing, you know, very... Um, militant energy with that earth energy so for those of you that have you know not been doing so good with finances that is definitely about to change could definitely be see something you something that you don't see happening something that takes you by surprise because she's walking directly into this tower and doesn't even see it male or female does not matter moving directly towards this tower but doesn't even see it because she's still kind of looking back on what she's leaving behind right which is not good but it, did, it should have been done, left this energy behind. But there is some sort of, yeah, mm -hmm. some of you, heavy emphasis on finance is about to be booming in 2024. Could be starting in Capricorn season. I also have the Queen of Wands underneath here for your sign. I mean, you could have that in your chart, but I do get either some creative project is going to create some new funds for you, or there's just going to be more money flowing, whatever you've been working on. Whatever you've been working on, I do get this Capricorn energy as a timing energy because we have the New Year energy here and we're in Capricorn season. Lots of Earth energy. Some sort of decision you made. Whatever whatever you chose to leave behind, it's definitely unlocking things for you because the Tower card also gives me that whatever it is you were leaving behind, even if it's a job that wasn't paying well, that's really going to shake shit up. It's like you made that you 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 threw down the the first domino and now the divine is going to throw throw down all the other dominoes in order to line you up with all this abundance energy. But it was definitely something that you had to initiate with this judgment energy, a decision that you had to decide as hard as it might have been, because with this energy, it's like yeah, she's moving forward, but she's still kind of looking back, you know. Very clear that she doesn't want to leave behind some of these things, but I think the realization is it's necessary. And as soon as you decide. Make some sort of final decision on a person, place, thing, job, mindset. Boom, you're walking into all this success, all this stability. Lots of things to celebrate here with the Three of Cups. It's all about celebrations. It's all about, you know, hitting milestones, having fun. Also could be some sort of contract. Yeah, could, yeah you could have ended a contract. Could be also a work contract with that devil energy. 
because you're focused on yourself yeah you're leaving behind Ooh, and i see a king of pentacles here which is definitely the match to the queen of pentacles so definitely could also be finding love too because you're focused on self though it's all about you right now or it should be if you haven't made this decision yet to sort of be all about you now's the time because it does look like timing energy here capricorn energy capricorn season is, is a big um no pun intended it's a big time point almost like a gateway But lots of fixation energy here. Also a little bit of obsession. I don't know if something you have been like obsessed with, some sort of company you've maybe been very obsessed with trying to, because um, the devil could also be detail. But I do get, once you decide to sort of leave uh, situations that bring you down and start to focus on the self and especially some sort of creative thing, it's really gonna align you big time. This is like a strike. With these three heavy hitters here in the towers is like strike. Knocking down all the pins, but I mean, it's a strike. You get the most points when you get a strike. So the pins might get knocked down, but it's a strike. You know what I'm saying? You got full points. You got all the gifts. Sun card. Some of you are definitely becoming, uh, getting a better job. This five of pentacles in your past here and the emperor. Lots going on. Yeah, this, this swords energy is also what you could be releasing. Any sort of swordsy, uh, self-doubt, manipulation of yourself, manipulation of others, um, you know, negative thinking, because that would be two fives you have. Anything you know that's not good for you, leaving, leaving it behind is the best thing you could do. What is the guidance for Taurus? Please, if this is a romantic situation specifically, deception. Someone in this relationship is wearing a false mask. For some of you, it's a person that needs to be left behind. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, that could also be what this devil energy is uh, representing. Because these are very heavy. Judgment on this devil. Get rid of it. Blow it up. Don't bring it into the new year. Because there's potential here for you. Could also be someone that was abusing you financially. Family member, friend, lover, whoever it is. Need to, especially if they're abusing you financially. Something's not right here. You got to free yourself. Oh my God. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory there. Let's get you some more oracles. Deception. Pay attention to the red flags and free yourself. It's time to take back your control of your life. That's also what that emperor energy is. Taking back control of your life. For some of you, you might have a gambling addiction or a shopping addiction. Take time to breathe out, decimating moon. Yeah, there's definitely something that needs to release here. Surrender to the divine. Heavy evidence of needing to release something. Some of you, spending habits, gambling, someone that gambles that you uh, uh, enable. It needs to be cut out once and for all. Debt. For some of you, with the free yourself, I'm kind of getting like round and round and round, doing something over and over and over again. Guidance, please, for Taurus, or someone you know. Maybe you need to just separate yourself from someone because they're about to get some karma and you don't want to be anywhere near this. You don't want to be anywhere near this because with the judgment, it definitely could be karma here. And we are in Saturn, Saturn, Saturn energy with that Capricorn. For Taurus, please. Nothing from this deck. Okay, thank you. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Yeah, there's some definitely people I'm getting that you need to release and kind of leave them alone because these people definitely have the potential of blocking your blessings and it does look like there's some blessings coming for you. And it seems like if these, if you are anywhere near these people when they get their karma, it's definitely going to affect you. So it's kind of saying release something now before like, you know, got three here see the big picture number 29 which is an 11 giraffe spirit number 34 hummingbird be here now for some of you it could be a child some bad spending habits trust in the magic number 66 white raven spirit yeah if you've been enabling someone anyway in any way shape or form financially now's the time to stop you kind of got you kind of got to let them hit the fan because you've been propping them up. 
And there's something about being present here with dance, change your energy, dance with life and um, be here now. There's definitely people in your life I think that are not good for you. It's no good, it's no good, they're no good. They need to let go. For some of you could be a friend, a friend circle, family members. One card for Taurus, please. Cause like there's good things that wanna come for you, but you can't get it until certain things and people mindsets leave your life. So you're kind of delaying yourself. You're allowed to learn. You're allowed to fail. Learn from it. Dust yourself off and F shit up. Your ending is still unwritten. It's never too late to create the life you love. Yeah. People are holding you back. Be a effing weirdo. There's power in that. They're also very unique. So there's people that are holding you back. Plain and simple. And nothing's going to happen for you unless they leave your life and if you don't choose to get rid of them the divine will come in and mash it up for you okay that's all i'm saying that's the message thank you taurus happy new year hopefully it resonates thumbs me up do not forget to subscribe see you guys next week